Yeah, it was good to yeah. visit Hanover though. It was nice. I enjoyed it. Away from the N1? Yeah, and one always also just either, either just flies past or put in petrol and carry on. But that's it for Hanover. Yeah. This is our turn off to No Port. Last time on the N1. Last time, on done with trip. the N1. Thank you. Oh, thank goodness. Look, it is a narrow road, eh? But it's tall. Okay, but where does one go? You mean. Seriously, so it is a strip road. It looks like it's a strip road with a tall one. Okay. So if someone comes from the front, we have to go, have off. To go onto the verge. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting, eh? So our piece of the strip road is coming to an end now. Very maintained, eh? No, it doesn't because but the verge is difficult. If a car is coming from the front to go off, you have to slow down a lot. A lot. Yeah. And um, yeah, definitely less maintained than between Stateable and Willow. Exactly. Quite interesting, eh? Very, very interesting. And now we're switching to gravel. Gravel. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh a lot of water. Yeah. There was a date on that bridge which I burst, you 1957. It, yeah. Geber für Jünnbrug. We saw ground squirrels cross the road. We're now trying to be patient and wait for them to stick their little heads out. Yeah. Right next to the road. A pretty little flower. Lots of them in the felt, eh? Yeah. Look in this field, all those little yellow flowers. I'm telling you, literally thousands of them. When you look at it, it's that uh, yellow tinge, eh? Yeah, from a distance you yeah. see the yellow tinge. Because there are so many. Ten kilos to go. 10 kilometers. I'm curious to see no port. I'm telling you. To be honest. Uh, it's going to be stunning. I think it's a tiny little place. Springbok. Is this a tar road or another gravel? Another gravel. Okay. Got like a pinkish tinge to it. It does. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> May I just say that I'm blown away? No port is bigger than what I thought it is. I thought it would be a quarter, if that, of what I'm seeing in front of me. I'm shocked at how big it is. So now we are entering the town of Nopoort. And again, it was the first time I heard about Nopoort. When you said we're coming here. So I'm keen. Honestly, I've heard of Nopoort before. You have? Yes. But I can't tell you why. <laughs> said we're going to come to no word. I said, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hang a left. You do that. There's a station. 
quite a big one too. Yeah. was a big one. Well, they have a hardware shop. Yep. You think those are all station buildings? Definitely. Then it must have been a very big station. Wow. So all station buildings, this must have been a massive station. Lots of water. Do must have had a lot of rain. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. I hope we can get closer somehow. I'm sure we will from the other side. a massive station. Look at this. Wow. wow! I'm blown away at the size of this station. Look at that. This looks Liu Hamka size. Railway Institute restaurant. Look at that. Oh. 1904. Wow. This is the station. Yeah. Most certainly not operational anymore. Look how the name is built into the wall with other color bricks. No, oh, yes. No yes. Wow. there's any way for us to get onto that road. I'm looking, I hope there can be. The centre. I would like to know what is that? Or what it was. Was, yeah. Got no idea what that was. massive structure there. Concrete? Yeah. Maybe railway cars used to go up there and they used to dump stuff. Oh, that's what I think. <coughs> Cement? Did they... How did they get up there? Mines. Right up that, that ramp. Concrete ramp. They could back it up. Into, oh, I've got no idea. I'm just guessing. I've just stopped at the top of this bridge here by the Nopoort station and what's incredible is that this station in its heyday used to have 100 trains passing through here every day crazy in the 1880s this was a major junction it was like when the steam trains used to run it was a, a called the Midland Line it joined the, the, the line from the R in Cape Town, Port Elizabeth to Graaf Renet, and this was a major hub. Most of these shops are closed and not operational anymore. Wow. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? But they call it a museum now. A war museum? Yeah. Look at this. Oh. 1901. Yep. Oh, how beautiful. Heartbreaking though, eh? Hey? Yeah, it is. Beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. Isn't it gorgeous? Stunning. 
this building is also very cute. Yeah, our nursery school. <laughs> Bubble back is quite cute. Well, this church looks maintained at least. Well, they're on the same, uh, not on the same grounds, no. Well, this looks totally fine. That must definitely be operational. Yeah. Hopefully we can figure it out. Daycare center. Okay. Somehow there's a place here that provides employment to a lot of people. Yes, yeah, something's up over here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Look at this church. Can you see they've just replaced the, uh, replaced the glass, glass panes? Glass yes. Let's look at their numbers on. That's beautiful, eh? Wow, the stonework is amazing. That's encouraging to see that yes. they replaced the glass. Yeah. So this used to be a church. It's not a church anymore. It's a creche now. Right, that's what she said. Yes. And this used to be a museum and that's a church now. So, wow. And this one, this one is gorgeous. Though. Yeah, I, I just hope with time they can be restored. Yep. It's the Nopeworth Christian Care Center. They call it the MCCC. Yes. And that other side where we were traveling earlier, we saw that other building called the center. That is also part of the Nopeworth Christian Care Center and it's for drug rehabilitation. They say. Um, and it's a massive organization apparently with a huge success rate. Yeah, 76% recovery success rate. That's their website incredible, says. eh? And they say it's the cheapest and the most effective drug rehab in South Africa and those were all those guys that we saw walking down the street there I think yes I think that must be their accommodation yes and then they do different activities yes. in the church and stuff like that wow This must be Dutch Reformed and their hall. Yeah, that's the hall. Is this Dutch Reformed, that sign there? Yes, I think so. Major Facebook church, eh? Yeah, wow. be interested to know when that um, stone was laid. That there looks to me as if those stones underneath that block are the original church's stones and that marble block with the engraving on was the original block, the uh, marble block that was in the original church. Now there's a date on there of 1913 this is much more modern unfortunately yeah. there's no date there's no date but there it looks like 1913 but it, it's possible yeah. that that original church was built in 1913. i would say that that would be the case yeah that in triple c was 1938 the other one 1901 1913 makes perfect sense yeah there's the original plaque on the side of the church so this one was built 14 September 1973. Yeah, that would make sense. Eh? Yeah. So that one is for this church and the plaque of the original church is 1930. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually left a bit speechless with the town. Uh, likewise. I'm shocked at the size. And property sold. Yeah. Did you see that one says sold? Yeah, I saw. <laughs> the, 
the size of the town is incredible. Yeah, well, this looks a good one to go down. Yeah. Wow, this one's got a pretty garden. It does. This one's also a bit different. Very interesting. A little bit of bling. Yeah. <laughs> It's an original wall, outside wall. Definitely. There's so much that we could have seen here in Oport, but I'm glad we got to see what we did see. Absolutely. Yeah. It was so worth it. So, so worth it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Noport. <laughs>